Alrighty guys, so I'm back home. And I'm missing Christy right now. I wonder what she's doing. It has been three days since Eric left and I miss him. I miss him a lot. And as soon as he left and walked out the door, I knew I should have gone with him. I knew I should have gone with him and I was kicking myself. He was a couple hours down the road. I knew I would not be able to wait a week or two weeks to go see him again. So that night, I bought a plane ticket to surprise him tonight. So I am just packing up, I'm getting ready to go. Athena is, she's upset at me. But he has no idea that I'm coming. I have his sister in on this, I have his mom in on this, and I am going to record this. So he's going to be able to see, he'll be able to watch it later. So I'm totally gonna record his reaction. It's going to be epic. I cannot wait to see him. Um, I have never done anything like this before, ever. This is by far the craziest thing I have ever done. So we are on our way to the airport. My dear sister is dropping me off. Eric literally has no idea that I am headed his way. His sister actually messaged me and told me that her mom, she was talking to her mom, and she was like, I told Eric that I have something to drop off at 9, at 9 p.m. Her mom said that she thinks, he thinks that it's cheesecake or ice cream cake or whatever and that the mom doesn't want it to melt and I literally just got a message from Eric and he goes so I got a message from my mom yesterday and she's she said she's dropping me off like a birthday surprise at like 9 p.m. which is you know kind of weird because normally she's like you know whatever whatever's convenient for you but she's adamant about 9 p.m. and he goes I really hope it's not ice cream cake I've had so much cake you know this past week so he really has no idea that I'm on my way and so I sent him a message back and I told him that even if it is cake he better eat it because it's true not to so anyway we are almost at the airport and um, my flight leaves in just a couple hours two hours later all right so I've landed my stuff and I'm about ready to go meet Eric's mom for the very first time a few moments later so we have made it to Eric's place I know it's dark but he has no idea that we're here and uh, we're gonna see him soon hi <laughs> What's up? Oh that is. You're good. Well, hi guys. Um, um, I never took the thumbnail. Oh no. Like, we'll, we'll do the thumbnail when we take out everything that's in here. Say hi. So everyone, my partner in crime is in San Diego. Welcome to the video, guys. So we got a gigantic package here, and I'm sure you, because you guys have clicked on the video, you know what's inside. These are the all new flavors from, from Enlightened. So we thought we'd change it up a little bit, and we both really, really, really like Enlightened ice cream. So we're gonna unbox this and show you guys the new seasonal flavors. Have you ever opened up? Christmas. Have you ever opened up like dry ice? Yeah. Dry ice, dry ice and stuff. Well, that was anticlimactic. No, very anticlimactic. Holy crime! Like it, oh, like two of each one. Pumpkin spice latte. Oh my goodness! So we have white chocolate peppermint. That one's gonna be the best one. Why is it? I want to focus. White chocolate peppermint. That's not a good sign. They released their barista flavors in their. Oh, I'm so glad they sent us more of the. White chocolate? Oh, no, there's three and three. Never mind. Three and three, so we no, have there's... nine. Oh, Two, right, four, right, six, right. Yeah. Eight, nine. We also have other flavors Ooh. that we're gonna taste test as well that I have in the fridge that Ooh. I really want you to try. I didn't know that. Yeah. And she really, really likes ice cream. I, I really, really like, like ice, ice cream. cream. So I'm really excited to try this we're one. gonna set up the thumbnail really quick. All right, so we realized that this looks a little underwhelming. <laughs> that went down my butt crack. Did it really? For a second. <laughs> you don't want to go down there. Oh. Well, this one started off a little strong. <laughs> uh, so we realized it's a little underwhelming. Like, we're not going to eat nine pints of no. three of the same. No, we are How do I say that? I don't even know. Um, but Enlightened actually sent me out a package a few months ago, so I have some ice cream left over from there. She's never actually tried any of this before. So, I'm so we excited. have mint chocolate chip right here. There we go. Mint. Chocolate chip ice cream right here. That's my favorite out of the Enlightened Really? I thought, I thought the movie theater Movie, movie one. night is, movie is night. up there. It's like number two. Cold brew. Um, so we have all of these here. I'm now, so I want to get into these first because this is actually like these have been out for a little while, which is good because you don't want them to be super rock hard. Let's see what we got here to experience full flavor. Less often you get it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Coffee ice cream with a chocolate mint swirl and white chocolate chips. Let's oh, see if this is good. Let's see if this delivers. Okay, so uh, it looks. It looks good. That's gonna become my signature. <laughs> she has a signature thumbnail face. <laughs> People always give me crap for my thumbnail faces because I look like I'm constipated. Well, mine's funny, the cinnamon roll one. I think that should be mine where I'm just like. We're gonna try this out right now. Um, I just wanna get this out there before we get into all these because we have two mint. Do we have three mint? No, just Eric mint. does not like I mint. I don't like mint, especially in ice cream. I know, that's crazy to me. Like mint chip is like one of my favorites. So let's see what we got right here. Same, we'll do it at the same time. Okay. I want the swirl. Is that so rude of me? No, it's not rude okay, of me because it's going to be a mint swirl. Okay. Let's do... I'm going to put the, put the pint like right there so we can get our reactions. Oh, that is delicious. I get more white chocolate than I do mint. That's I get really mint. Good. That's not a very strong mint flavor. I do like that. That's delicious. Wow, that reminds me of Christmas. Mm -hmm. That is like Christmas in a pint. It tastes like adding peppermint to your coffee. That's, that's, that's a good that's point. That's what it tastes like to me. I get more... They, like they, they peppermint they, coffee creamer. They killed the chocolate chips. That's delicious. I like that. I don't really know what, I can kind of taste a mocha, like hints of coffee in the ice cream. It tastes like peppermint coffee. It tastes like mint hot chocolate coffee. I don't know how to explain I should explain that. why I don't like mint. Oh, like you overdid mint? Yeah. I thought it was because you just didn't like it. No, I just, oh. I just don't like it because I had uh, an entire nothing bun cake, but I got it for free. It was, mm -hmm. it was, it was, it was awful. Not good? Like the frosting was mint, the cake was mint, like I think they had like chocolate chips in it that were mint. It was all mint. So mm. this is absolutely amazing guys. And we're gonna have a lot of this stocked up in here. So um, yeah, I give that a solid, what would you give it? I would give that a nine out of 10. Nine, nine out of 10? Yeah. Let's do the pumpkin spice next. Pumpkin spice? Cause we just got a pumpkin spice latte. So we know what oh, we it know what tastes it, like. We know what it tastes like. So. Pumpkin spice ice cream with ribbons well, of espresso. Well that's what, that's what um, pumpkin spice is. So that is what it looks like. It's very, very hard still. Ooh, that's what she said. <laughs> you have to always do that. You started it. I did start it. Ooh, I got a much bigger bite than you. Cheers. I was gonna, I was gonna feed you. Oh, you're gonna feed me? Because you know, all, all the people love that. Okay. Oh, they, you guys really hate that and we love it, so. Uh, I like the other kind better. What's it's the other kind? The one we just had. Oh, for sure. I mean, like, the pumpkin flavor is good. It's there. It's just, it's, it's honestly, it's very faint. I, I, I like it because it's, it's I think faint. it, I think it tastes like the, co I didn't want the pumpkin spice latte. I don't get the, oh. I don't get the rave about it. <sighs> yeah. So, I mean, it's good. This is the lowest calorie one out of everything. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's interesting. I don't taste any espresso in this at all. I don't taste espresso either. I taste mostly pumpkin. I feel like if they went a car with the caramel in this, they would kill it. They would have like completely made it. Oh, that. I just found like good pieces. Do you want to try that? See if that changes it. I just found like a ribbon of more, more flavors versus just Yeah, it's not, it's not a strong taste to me. I still taste the base. I that right now. Okay. There's a flavor right there. Yeah, there's a flavor right there. It's just not like, kind of have to find it. You have to dig for buried treasure. That's um, my favorite. I love following the caramel trails and ice cream. And then I leave the next person with vanilla. That's horrible. Oh, that's terrible. I know, it's horrible. What's your favorite ice cream of all time? Ben and Jerry's Fish Food, which has a caramel, oh, yeah, yeah. caramel and marshmallow trail. I have to say that if you've ever been to Baskin Robbins, they used to have a flavor called Gold Metal Ribbon. I might be getting this wrong because I haven't had it in years, but it's chocolate vanilla but caramel and it had like um like clusters in it Ooh. and i always had this fascination with like cluster cereal as a kid like there was a cereal that used to be called they don't make it anymore it's, it was called honey honey nut clusters I, yeah, yeah it's basically cornflakes with like like clusters oh you, you mean honey bunches of no no not but not honey bunches of oats it's honey nut clusters it was like a 90 cereal and it had like cornflakes in it and cornflakes granola. in it like granola and like little like Bunches of clusters. Yes. It's, it's yes. basically. I know what you're talking about. It's yeah. basically a honey or a honey bunches of oats, but they yeah. just, it's a little bit, a little bit different. But yeah, that was my. F I love cl clusters of things. I think they sold that in stores too. They probably do. Because <clears throat> they have a Baskin Robbins um, brand for. Ice cream. What you guys should do is tell us what your favorite ice cream flavor is. Yeah. If you even say mint anything down below, you're banned. You're blocked. Just kidding. You're not. Um, I like mint in my band. 
they're permanently banned. Oh. I just don't really like pumpkin spice lattes, so that's just not my flavor. I think pumpkin in and of itself is like, it just reminds me that fall is here. And yeah, that we're out, we're done with summer. But like I, as I told you, I OD'd on pumpkin when I was. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Just... In the darker days, I would literally exist on like two cans of pumpkin a day. Pumpkin. Didn't itself, you see it like turn your skin orange? Yeah, I ate so much pumpkin when I was really bad with with my eating disorder that I literally I had orange skin when I came into treatment. They called me. Um, they used to play the Coldplay um, song. Uh, yeah, well, I had orange and yellow skin, and they played mm -hmm. Yellow by Coldplay. Oh. Every time I hear that song, uh, I think of when I was in treatment. Um, but I had so much beta carotene in my system that I turned my skin. That's like, crazy. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, that was, I was eating like two cans minimum a day. If you guys don't know, pumpkin itself is very, it's very low calorie. I would eat it, I would, I would freeze yeah. pumpkin and put sugar-free maple syrup on it. And that was like my dessert for the night. I used to do that. I used to put it in oatmeal and yeah. Yeah, I used to do that same thing only, but I can't just eat straight pumpkin. Yeah, I was just eating straight pumpkin. I just can't do that. I just made, I just came off the fall freebie. And oh! You, and you liked all my pumpkin I love recipes. Those. I love those recipes. Um, yeah, guys, we're not a huge fan of, of the pump, of this pumpkin one. But as we still eat it, but. As we still eat it, but the pump, or the triple shot espresso is next. So triple shot espresso. Whoa! Triple shot espresso, a bowl trio of coffee, ice cream, espresso chips, and ribbons of espresso. It's actually not super hard. That's what she said. My bites are always bigger than yours. Right. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. Wow. That is amazing. Okay, it's good, but damn, that's That is a WW. WW. Of the video. Oh my goodness, she just went there. That's that strong. That tastes like, it tastes like no, an espresso. I bomb. love espresso though. That is just. Give that to me. That's delicious. Wow. I'm kind of blown away by that. I'm blown away too because I normally hate coffee ice cream. There's espresso chips in here. <laughs> There's espresso chips in here. I feel like that does it for me. That's that why it's really delicious. good. Delicious. Wow. It's sweet, but it has like that bitter coffee aftertaste. Yeah, it does. You don't like it? I like it. I can't. I I I, mm. I want to like it super bad, uh, but I just can't because of the 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 strong like coffee aftertaste. But like for me, I think the espresso chips are great because they taste kind of like chocolate chips. I mean, like this is not a holiday flavor, but. Well, what would you give this one? I'm gonna say a nine out of ten because I think the movie night one is the best one that I've had so far. Well, guys. The... I just don't want to stop. Oh, you will because don't you make like it these. Stop. Don't make it stop. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well then, uh, as you can see, I already got into this one. Mm, okay. So now we have the espresso. Let's see what you think about the cold brew one. Okay. We have to move to a different coffee ice cream because I'm still tasting this. Oh, that's gonna be good. I'm taking. It's so I'm feeling you're not gonna like this. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. My mom would love this. That's what I'm gonna send her for Christmas. <laughs> I'm gonna send her these. <clears throat> oh, stop it. It's not a day get in line, guys. I just, I don't like mint ice cream at all. Like, I don't like coffee ice cream. I would rather eat this coffee ice cream. That is the best diet mint ice cream I've ever had. They nailed it. That's really good. Now, do you want to try try mm -hmm. that? <laughs> these these are fun. I'm glad you like them because I love them. You're at the best date night. I just I I, I obviously because I just I'm a little still. Um, I was just reading uh, some very personal, uh, well not so personal, but letters to my PO fan, box, and I got fan letters. That was cool. I got a little uh, teary eyed, so I'm a little I'm good now. Just. Okay, here are my thoughts. It has a really good coffee flavor, but this is much, much more Well, I think you like this one because flavorful. Like, you have mix-ins and espresso chips. Well, the calorie difference too. It's like this base, or this ice cream is this one's base. There's one, one and a half fat, and then there's two fat in that. There's 20 calorie difference per serving. So, wouldn't you agree? Isn't this the coffee ice cream only but in this one? Yeah, I Or is think it so. espresso ice cream? Bold coffee ice cream. What's this one? It's it's coffee ice cream. To me, these taste exactly the same. With if you really like coffee, get the espresso one. If you're like, I like coffee, but 
This is a much stronger coffee. Now, what I want you to do is get into this one. Okay. Well, this is actually like half full. Oh, hold on. Peanut butter. We have to go back and tell them about the conversation that we had earlier. What did we just have earlier? I could not leave a half a pint in the freezer. I could not do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, when I get a pint like this, I make room in my macros to be able to eat the entire thing. I He's have the exact never, opposite. I've never eaten an entire pint. For pleasure. For pleasure. Um, but I don't know, it's just a thing with me. I just don't, I just usually have a, a serving or that's why this is halfway full. I know, that's crazy. I think me. you're gonna like this one a lot. I just got a nice, mm. This is the last one we're trying. We're just trying. Isn't it good? Fire! Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Is it actually real peanut butter? That's what I thought. It tastes like real oh, peanut butter. Four and a half fat, yeah. It is real peanut butter. Like, that's totally worth it to me. It's worth it to actually have a little that's bit more That's gonna be a good bite. Oh my god. There's a big chunk of peanut butter in that. If you like peanut butter and chocolate. I literally just got a tablespoon of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Mm. Yeah, this is my... Oh. The movie well, night is probably the best one. As you guys know, these are diet ice creams. They're lower calorie. This one's good. Uh, you guys are not on my Instagram or not on my social media. I am currently back in California since she surprised me. Um, I'm here for actually a few more weeks and I'm going to Texas and I'm gonna be looking at places out there uh, to go move. So that's the, the big breaking news. Um, and uh, we'll go into that in a later video. Yeah. Um, right that's now, good. I'm just looking at Texas and I'm dieting in the meantime. So six weeks out of the year is um, like for me, um, I, for what I do for a living, it's absolutely absurd for me to just keep doing that, keep doing it, keep doing it. So I filmed so much content in Texas that uh, we kind of just both, we're both doing it right mm -hmm. now. Um, it's going to be good. Um, obviously, since you're, you know, you're coaching and you actually have to I have to way, maintain my physique. Yeah, exactly. Like I do to an extent, and this is more for my health and more for- Well, and just like you have to take a break from dieting, you need to take a break from a calorie surplus as yeah. well. It's good for you too. And, uh, that, and like a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, yes, do it. Or like other people are gonna be like, no, you shouldn't. And it's like, I never like, you You're know- listen to me, goodbye. Yeah, I needed to do this for myself and uh, I don't feel like I'm grossly overweight. You're not, not, not But at, not as we at filmed all. a few videos, like I just realized that it's gotten to a point where like I just need to be more comfortable with myself. Um, uh, same way, yeah, same way. 46 weeks out of the year doing food challenges, six weeks and this is gonna be better for me in the long run. So um, yeah. that was the, the, the news of the video. Do you have any other news for them? No, I don't think so. I can't think of anything clever to say. Thanks for watching the video, guys. This has been a an electrics the electrics production. Put the spoon in your mouth. Go like this. Bye. Okay, that one's good.